Today's lesson is Shohei Otani, a player like no other. Hello, everyone. I'm Mike. Hello, I'm Kiki. And as we learned yesterday, the title did not lie. Shohei Otani is a player like no other. Well, a player like Babe Ruth from right. 1916, who could both pitch really well and bat really well. But since then, there have been, as far as I know, no other players in Major League Baseball who are two-way players who can both pitch and bat. Well, and now we've met this young Japanese player, Shohei. He is a two-way player, mm -hmm. right? And and it's very interesting to see how he's overcome a lot of challenges throughout his youth as a two-way player and how he stayed steadfast in his commitment and devotion to being a two-way player. And we saw that in his early professional baseball career, he was even willing to make a choice to not play in the MLB, to not mm -hmm. go to the States to play baseball, and to stay in his country to play baseball. Well, because the team was willing to accommodate his wishes of being a two-way player. That's exactly right. And we're going to get into the article very soon, and we'll find out what happened after Otani started to play professionally in Japan. So let's look at the first part of the article. Otani's career in Nippon professional baseball was nothing short of spectacular. By 2015, he'd already established himself as one of the league's premier pitchers ultimately winning the Pacific League Most Valuable Player MVP award in 2016. In 2018, though, Otani signed with MLB's Los Angeles Angels primarily because they now believed he could excel as both a pitcher and hitter. Hello. 也可以是最早的意思。例如, as a tourist destination, it remains the premier choice for many. 作为旅游目的地, 它仍然是许多人的首选。或者, the Premier League attracts fans from around the world. 顶级联赛吸引了来自世界各地的粉丝。All right, so we begin with Otani's career in Nippon professional baseball was nothing short of spectacular. Okay, no surprises there, I guess, knowing what we know now. But his career in Japanese professional baseball, this is the MLB of Japan, was nothing short of spectacular. It was spectacular. If something is spectacular, it's amazing, it's incredible, it's wonderful, it's that kind of thing, it's historic. If something is nothing short of another thing, then basically you're saying, it was that thing. So it wasn't kind of spectacular or mostly spectacular. It was spectacular. If you go to a restaurant, oh, that food was nothing short of the best meal I have ever had in my life. You're saying it was the best meal. And you don't need to say much more than that. So there you go. He was a great baseball player in Japanese professional baseball. Then what happened? Well, by 2015, he'd already established himself as one of the league's premier pitchers, ultimately winning the Pacific League Most Valuable Player MVP Award in 2016. So we know that Shohei, he signed with the Ham Fighters in 2013. And in two years or two seasons of playing baseball, or until 2015, he was able to get an MVP award. Any athlete would love to get a Most Valuable Player award. Mm -hmm. So he was able to do that. And by getting an MVP award, it helped him establish himself in his league. So when you establish yourself, it is basically to have done something that is recognized or accepted by a lot of people, by your peers and things like that. So when you establish yourself that you've done something very important or done something very good, a lot of people know you for doing that thing. And he's been recognized as being a very strong young player in his league. That's right. He was described as one of the premier pitchers. Premier basically means top first. It's certainly in the top group and the best group. This is a premier holiday destination. It's very, very popular. It's probably a little expensive if we're talking about a place or a thing. But if we're talking about a person, we're saying they're not the best, but certainly in the top 10, the top five, something like that. If you win an Oscar, that shows that you're 
you're one of the premier actors in Hollywood at that time. So one of the best pitchers in the Japanese professional leagues. He won the MVP award, which is kind of like winning the best player of the year award. They don't call it the best player. They call it the most valuable player. And I think they'll give out kind of one for each league or one for each division or something like that. So definitely one or two of the great players of that year. In 2018, though, Otani signed with MLB's Los Angeles Angels, primarily because they now believed he could excel as both a pitcher and hitter. He proved all the doubters wrong. He showed them that he could be a two-way player. It took a little while, but he did it in Japan, so that made the American teams much more comfortable, saying, well, if he did it in Japan and became an MVP and can still pitch and hit... What's to say he can't do it over here? And the Los Angeles Angels, I think, because at that time they were a pretty bad baseball team, they got the first pick of the new players. And so, of course, they picked Shohei Otani. Also a good move because there's a lot of Japanese folks and Asian people in California and Los Angeles, so it's good for their fan base. And so they snagged him. They snatched him up as quickly as they could. They did it mainly because they believed, they were comfortable that he could excel, that he could do really, really well as both a pitcher and a hitter. They changed their minds about letting him play as a two-way player, and he changed their minds by being really good at both. All right, let's take a break, and then we'll be back with the second part of the article. In Los Angeles, Otani became a sensation, astounding fans and fellow players alike with his fastball and home run hitting prowess. In 2021, he made history by becoming the first ever MLB player to be selected for the All-Star Game as both a pitcher and position player. He further solidified his star status by winning the American League MVP award in 2021 and 2023. Despite his achievements, Otani is known for his humility and reserved demeanor. As he told one reporter, I just want to contribute to the team's success in any way I can. This selfless, team-first mentality has only added to Otani's sterling reputation among fans. The technological advances in the past decade have astounded many. Noah's ability to solve complex problems astounds me. Noah解决复杂问题的能力令我震惊。接下来一样是动词,solidify,有时巩固,时稳固的意思。例如, The team worked hard to solidify their lead in the sales competition. 该团队努力工作,以巩固他们在业务比赛中的领先地位。再来介绍名词,mentality,指的是心态或是思维方式。例如, a positive mentality is crucial for overcoming challenges. 积极的心态对于克服挑战至关重要。或是, Cultural differences can significantly influence one's mentality. 文化差异可以显著影响一个人的思想方式。And we are back. So Shohei Otani, he is now a Los Angeles angel. He is no longer a ham fighter. And it's safe to say that when he hit L.A., when he came to America, he continued to be really, really good at baseball. That's right. And not only was he really, really good at baseball, he also was very popular with his fans. Mm -hmm. In Los Angeles, Otani became a sensation, astounding fans and fellow players alike with his fastball and home run hitting prowess. Okay, so not only was he really good on the baseball field, but he was also very popular. He became a sensation. So when something is a sensation, it is the widespread reaction to something. It created a lot of excitement. So him coming to LA, becoming a Los Angeles Angels player, he became very popular. A lot of people were really interested in him because not only was he a Japanese player, mm-hmm. he was also very tall and good looking. 
swing,、mm-hmm. but most importantly, he was really good at pitching and hitting. Absolutely, even fans who didn't follow baseball knew about him. That's the kind of thing would happen when you become a sensation. He's astounding fans. When you astound someone, you surprise them, you shock them, you make them go, "Oh my gosh, that's even better, more crazy than I thought." So he's really impressing people in a major way, both fans and his fellow players. Players who play with some of the best in the game were going, "Oh my gosh, this Otani guy is like another level above most of the great players." So he's impressing basically everyone with his fastball. That is his pitching skills. He has a really fast fastball. Other pitchers might have a curveball or different types of pitches, but his fastball is sort of his most dangerous pitching weapon. And his home run hitting prowess. Your skill at something is your prowess. He was really good at hitting home runs and. Really good at throwing strikes past other players, so they couldn't hit home runs. He was absolutely amazing on the baseball diamond. In 2021, he made history by becoming the first ever MLB player to be selected for the All Star Game as both a pitcher and position player. So there you go. I mean, I guess not since Babe Ruth has anyone really been able to do that. He makes history. This is the first time it's ever happened. So he did something no one had ever done before. He got picked. To the All Star team, both for his pitcher role and for his position player or his hitting role. Most players will, of course, only get picked for one position, not two, because most players don't play two positions like Otani does. He further solidified his star status by winning the American League MVP award in 2021 and. 2023. Wow! So that's two MVP awards since he's arrived in、mm. America. Yep. And because of all his success, he really solidified who he was as an athlete in the field of baseball. So when you solidify something, of course, when we think of solidify, we see the word solid. So when we think of solid, it's something that's hard, and you're making something very strong, and you're reinforcing it. So when you're solidifying something, you're establishing Establishing who you are, or you're establishing your status, and in this case, he is establishing or solidifying, making sure, making concrete of how good of a player or how good of an athlete he is in America, in MLB, or even in the world.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you solidify your position in baseball, that probably means that in the end, you'll end up in the Hall of Fame.、Mm. You'll be one of the best players of all time, or certainly of your time. Despite his achievements, Otani is known for his humility. Humility and reserved demeanor. In other words, he's still very Japanese at heart. He's known for his humility and his reserved demeanor. Humility. He's not proud. He's not going around going, "I'm the greatest. I'm the best. You're all terrible. I'm so good. I'm the king of baseball." No, he's very humble. Right? Humble would be how I would describe someone. And the character of being humble is humility. So he's, "Oh no, it's my teammates. They make me look good. My coaches. I owe so much to them for their wise words and help. And you know that." Kind of thing. He's not around bragging and going on about how good he is. He's not overly proud in any way. In fact, he's probably less proud than he really should be. And he also has a reserved demeanor. Again, kind of a typical Japanese characteristic. He's very quiet. He doesn't go around beating his chest when he hits home runs or things like that. He's a very polite guy. You might meet him and go, he's so quiet and he's so polite or something like that. You know, he impresses people because it doesn't seem like his success. Has really affected him in any major way. He seems like just a kind of normal guy. As he told one reporter, "I just want to contribute to the team's success in any way I can." There you go. Also, a very good Japanese trait that focus on teamwork, on team success, on team effort. It's all about the team. It's not about the individual. This selfless, team-first mentality has only added to Otani's sterling reputation among fans. So this is what makes his. Fans like him even more because、hmm. he's not selfish. He、right. cares about the team. He cares about the team doing well,、mm-hmm. and he cares about being a part of a team. So here we have this word mentality, and we're talking about this 
team first mentality. So this way of thinking, basically、mm. a mentality is how somebody thinks or how a group of people think. And in this case, we're describing him being a team first or having a team first mentality, which is thinking about the team first or putting the team. First, and not his own success as an athlete. He、mm-hmm. cares about how well they do all together. Exactly right, and this has added to his sterling reputation. It's only made people like him more. In other words, when you add to something, you put more into it. Okay, and if you have a sterling reputation, sterling here I think is referring to a very high quality of silver. Sterling silver is very very nice. So something is sterling. It's kind of high quality, high grade, very valuable. Widely respected, widely honored, that kind of thing. So, if you have a sterling reputation, you have a really good reputation. People think good things of you, and they don't doubt your word or suspect you in any way. They think you're a very honest, straightforward, stand-up kind of person. All right, let's take a break, and then we'll be back with the third and final part. Otani's career speaks to the power of discipline and self-belief. While few believed he could pitch and hit at elite levels. Otani knew otherwise. Time and again, he's proven himself to be one of the greatest players the game has ever seen. The third part, we see the word discipline. This word means discipline, training, or discipline. For example, Tony quit taking guitar lessons because he didn't have the discipline to stick with them. Tony is not playing guitar anymore. 因为他没有自制力继续坚持下去。最后介绍片语 time and again， 一直、屡次的或是一再的。举例来说 ，Lara loves the museum and she has gone there time and again. Lara 很喜欢那间博物馆，她已经去过很多次了。最后一个例子 ，The tennis player lost matches time and again before he finally went on a winning streak. 那名网球选手屡次战败后，才总算取得连胜。And we are back. So let's wrap it up with Shohei Otani. Otani's career speaks to the power of discipline and self-belief. There you go. His career speaks to, or it kind of references. It brings our mind to, our attention to, and it shows how important are the power of discipline and self-belief. You have to believe in yourself. That self-belief, but you also need discipline. You need to be able to control yourself and be tough with yourself. There are many times, I'm sure, when he should have gotten up to go exercise. Exercise early in the morning is like, oh, I want to sleep in. I want to eat fried chicken and just sit around and watch TV. But he's like, no, no, I got to get up. I got to go drink my green juice. Get out there and run around the baseball diamond at four o'clock in the morning. Get ready for the game later on. He's got that discipline, or we could also say self-discipline, to keep focused on his goals and always work as hard as he can to be the best that he can. That's right. While few believed he could pitch and hit at elite levels. Otani knew otherwise. So while everybody, all the adults in his life, made him choose one, you can only be a pitcher or you can only be a hitter. He knew. He believed in himself that he wanted to keep being devoted to honing both these crafts,、mm. being good at both pitching and hitting. Okay, so here we have this word otherwise. So basically, otherwise is being apart from that. So he knew that he was able to do that, despite other people saying that he had to pick one to be good at.、Mm-hmm. In other words, he knew differently. He knew that what he could do was much more than what people thought he could do. And time and again, he's proven himself to be one of the greatest players the game has ever seen. That's absolutely true. Time and again, in other words, again and again, many times, multiple times over the past ten years or so, he's proven. Himself to be one of the greatest players. It didn't just happen once. He didn't have that one incredible game. No, he's been doing it again and again, year after year, season after season. He's proven to be one of the greatest players the game has ever seen. I would say he is a natural addition. To the Hall of Fame once he retires and that kind of thing, I think we'll be hearing and reading about Shohei Otani for many years into the future, probably long after we are all gone. Let's look at our discussion starter after we go over to our Chinese teacher.
各位同学，大家好，我是 Hanny。我们来看今天的文法重点课文第二部分，有一句写道 ：Despite his achievements, Otani is known for his humility and reserved demeanor. 尽管他的成就辉煌，但大谷仍以谦逊和内敛的神态而闻名。那么句子里面的名词 demeanor， 它是指行为举止或是神态、仪态或风度。另外句子里面呢，它用到 be known for something 去表达以什么闻。文明，那我们来整理一下相关的句型。Known 可以表达已知的、知名的。那我们介绍第一个句型就是 be known for， 它是表达以某个特色啊、特质或成就而闻名，后面可以接名词或动名词。那我们先用 be known for 加名词来造句，例如 Paris is known for its romantic atmosphere， 巴黎以其浪漫氛围而闻名。那再来看到 be known for 加上动词 ing 的例句，像是 The city is known for having some of the best museums in the world. 这座城市以拥有世界上最好的一些博物馆而闻名。好，那第二个介绍的是 be known as， 它是表达以名称啊、身份等等而为人所知，被称作什么什么。那后面接的名词通常是身份、职业、称号等等。举例来说 ，Paris is known as the city of light， 巴黎被称作光之城。好，那第三个介绍的句型是 be known to 加上原形动词，这是表达已知会做某事，以做某事出名。像 the king was known to be cruel， 大家都知道那位国王很残暴。或者是 regular exercise is known to have many health benefits， 大家都知道规律运动有许多健康益处。好，那么同样在课文第二部分最后一句，他写道：“这种无私、团队至上的心态，为大谷在球迷中增添更多的好名声。”那文中是用到 add to 来表达增添、增加的意思。那我们可以用 add to something 来表达使某事物更好啊、更棒、增添风采的语义。那我们这边也顺便补充一下 add up to something 的用法。好 ，add up to something， 第一种可以表达数量总计达到多少，一共是多少。像是 their living expenses add up to roughly thirty thousand anti dollars per month， 他们每个月的生活开销总计约新台币三万元。好，第二个我们可以用 add up to something 去表达加起来造成某种结果，总结是什么什么。像 all of our life experiences。Add up to who we are today. 所有的生活经验加总起来，造就了现在的我们。好，以上是今天重点整理。我们来回顾今天单词吧。Spectacular. The new film is truly spectacular, winning cheers from audiences everywhere. Establish. Though she's relatively young, Doctor Knight has established herself as an expert in her field. Premiere. Albert was excited to be admitted to the premier university in the country. Sensation. Soon after its release, the new album caused a huge sensation. Mentality. Developing a growth mentality helps one to see the benefits of challenging experiences. Discipline. Michelle's discipline in sticking to her exercise routine has allowed her to achieve significant strength gains. Otherwise. Morris swore he was telling the truth, but the evidence said otherwise. Discussion starter starts now. So here we have that discussion starter, and it's a good question. Do you think hard work or the athletic talent he was born with has been more important to Shohei Otani's success, and why? I think hard work has played the bigger role in Otani's success because we know that he had this natural talent.、Mm -hmm. He was really good at these two things, hitting and pitching.、Mm -hmm. But it's really his hard work and dedication to show people, to prove to these big teams, to prove to his coaches that he can do these things.、Mm. And he kept practicing and making his skills even better. All right. Well, I will take the other position. Given that he is very tall and. A perfect physical specimen. I think Otani's natural athletic talents have been the main cause of his success. That, and he has very good hand-eye coordination in order to hit a baseball, which is not an easy thing to do. 
Well, that brings us to the end of another edition of our program, and please make sure you join us again next time. From all of us here, I am Mike. I am Kiki. See See you you next time. time.